Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, happy Monday afternoon to everyone. I hope you're having a great day so far. The weather is cooperative, is nice. It's just slightly humid. We actually haven't seen a lot of humidity for the last week at least, and now it has made its return. You can see the heat index right around 89 degrees. Temperatures at 85 and the sun is shining. I do expect maybe a few more clouds to develop as we head through the afternoon as the cold front slowly starts to seep down across the region. The Storm Team 10 storm tracker right now is staying dry throughout the whole area. There was some storms earlier this morning well off to the east, so we haven't been dealing with much for our first Monday of August. I just can't believe we're already to August already. It's uh, amazing how time flies, but as we go through the afternoon, as we do tick through time, we'll be expecting just uh, temperatures to be rising and maybe for a few clouds and a really small chance for a rain shower to pop up as we go into the afternoon. Behind all that, though, it's really going to cool off. We'll have temperatures dropping down into the upper 70s by the time we reach midweek. So 90 degree weather isn't something that we'll really be seeing over the next uh, couple of days. As for today, we'll be topping off in the upper 80s. A couple areas might be pretty close to 90 degrees, but we've only seen eight so far this year uh, and last year only nine. So it's been the humidity that's really been working with us for most of our summer. It's still felt a little bit hot out there, but really it's just been the humidity. The big picture what we have going on is some nice dry conditions right now. Uh, low pressure off to the northeast. I'll swing that cold front through as we go through the course of our day to day. It's moving real slow. It's kind of stalled out for most of our morning. And until then, we're going to be seeing that southwest flow that's going to keep on warming us up until that cold front moves on through. And here's the timing of that. This is right around 4 o'clock. They'll bring that in and that might spark up a shower or a thunder shower real fast. But I do believe that most of us will be staying sunny today and on the dry side as we go through our Monday. Definitely by tonight, though, the clouds kick out of here. We see some dry and less humid air work its way on in. That's going to slide our temperatures down into the lower 60s by tomorrow morning, making for a really nice start to your Tuesday. I think uh, tomorrow is going to be probably our best day of the work week. Futurecast at 7 a.m. Some clouds working through, but if you want to get out for maybe a nice morning walk to clear your mind tomorrow, it's going to be really nice. By the afternoon, we'll be right around 4 o'clock here, 3 o'clock in Illinois, and we're continuing to stay dry until probably Wednesday where we start to have an area of low pressure move on through that could spark up a shower or some rain showers or thunder showers by the time we reach our Wednesday and definitely into Thursday. The river stages have been something we've been dealing with all summer and finally we're starting to lower those levels. Here's the river stage right now in Terre Haute. This is at 14 feet, a little above that, but it's falling and finally that flood warning is starting to chip away in some of the areas of the Wabash and the White River is now no longer in effect. So that is good news, especially since we've been in the flood stages just about all summer. If you want to get some more river stages, you can find them at WDHITV.com. Head over to our weather tab. You can get all the information there. If you haven't downloaded our weather app yet, go ahead and do that. Also, please make a connection with me. I've already had people send me some pictures, ask me some questions about forecasts. That's great stuff. You can find me on Facebook, WTHI Joseph Dames, or you can follow me on Twitter. I post some photos. I post severe weather updates. It's a great place to really reach out to me. Seven day forecast. I left that small chance, that really small chance for a pop up rain shower as we go further on into our day to day. But beyond that, it looks really good. Our Tuesday here is really nice. A lot of uh, sunshine for our Tuesday temperatures into the 80s before we cool off and see some rain showers Wednesday and Thursday, making for a nice weekend.